holes, you know, it's together. But red is the king of colors, three times three times three, in three letters and nine strokes. And by divine ornaments, the ball, which is number three in pool, is red. It's the solid red one. And as for the striped red one, I'm going to have to solve solid plus stripe now. Oh boy, it just keeps coming. Um, solid plus stripes. Anyways, that's too easy. Um, but, uh, of course, okay, yeah, there's 15 balls in pool. I got so many, so much to, you know, there's, there's 15 balls in pool. Of which the 15, add up the numbers 1 to 15, you get 120 perfectly. Which is so king for the number 3 and 8 simultaneously, it's not even funny. These 15 balls, of course, get arranged in a triangle for the glory of the Trinity. Um, you know, one, uh, 15 of them. Five, five down each side. It doesn't take long to draw, really. It's like once you draw the five along each side, you only have a little more work to do. Well, I've kind of gimped it up here. These should be a lot larger. This should actually be touching in there. It's kind of out of proportion, but you get the idea. Okay, so let's solve the terms. So pool cube, pool, pool stick. Um, uh, of course, red ball, red equals ball, so that's 27, 27. Red ball equals love. This is 27, this is 27. Love, L-O-V-E. Um, pool cube. What does it add to? 21 plus 24 plus 27, 72 plus 15. Pool cube equals 87 equals truth. And then so when you say the pool cube, that adds to 120. Genius. And then a pool stick is uh, 51 plus 27 is 78, 93. Oh my goodness, pool stick equals 120 all by itself. That's amazing. That's amazing. <laughs> Done. We solved every pool cube and every pool stick in the history of the universe. Okay, let's, let's rattle through the rest of the terms in pool here. Um, so a pool triangle, that's what this wooden guy is called, the pool triangle. This is obvious, because the P and the T knit together, or you can collect the bookends like that, just like up here. Isn't that amazing? So the pool triangle does the same thing as pool Q and pool stick. Bookends knit together. In fact, pool Q is P and E, and pool triangle is the same thing. Do you see how the word pool was foreordained? As is the word triangle. Like long before pool was invented and man had this word triangle playing around, and the word pool playing around, well, God has a plan to ultimately bring together the word pool and the word triangle in a game known as pool. <laughs> By divine ornaments. He's writing a story, folks. He's creating all the people that come up with all the ideas that actually he came up with and he is simply giving them to do all the merchandising, do all the invention, and get all the materials, put all the names on all this stuff. And you're a part of this story, this symphony that God is orchestrating. So pool triangle does the same thing as pool Q. What does it all add to? What does it add to? Everyone wants to know. 48, 60, 81. 81 right there plus another, there's worship, one away, plus another, wow, the center contents is one, two, three, oh my goodness. And then the book ends at 21 points to make it 144. That's insane. So pool triangle is 144. That's insane. These are gorgeous numbers. Done. Wow. Um, what else did I get uh, while I was there? Okay. The red, the, by the way, the red stripe ball is 11, which glorifies the number 3, because 11 is the, um, the fifth prime, and 5 is the third prime. This is also an all-factor 3 number, just like this, because 1 and 3 are the factors of 3. Done. Um, and then you can solve all the colors of the pool balls. In fact, I might do that right after this, because I'm a color freak who solves all the colors of the rainbow, and I've been solving color combinations. Um, how many colors are there in pool? There's seven, isn't there? 
because you've got seven stripes and seven solids plus the eight. So I, I think the colors are red, orange, yellow, burgundy, violet, blue, green. That's seven colors. We can solve that right now. I'm actually quite inclined to solve the, the colors of the cue balls because I'm a color nut. But let's get through the um, some other terms that I got while I was there. Oh, a bumper ball. Oh, we, we got to solve the word pocket. This is real obvious. The word pocket is the same phenomenon as the word pool itself. We got P plus one in front of a gold train of threes. Okay, pocket and pool. So pocket. Okay. And so that's 20, 36 plus 18. Wow, that equals love. So the gold train down here equals love. And then the gold train up here is 42. Um, okay. And what else do we want to say? Oh, yeah, the word shot. A pool shot, we say. A pool shot. I encourage you to just let your mind, like, come up with everything and solve it all. Because you can solve it all. A pool shot, and this is cool because you can also say a trick shot. Both divide by three. In this case, there's obvious bookending, and this is threes in here. A pool shot. And then a uh, trick shot, you got three plus twos in it together. Okay. That, both those terms divide by three. Pool shot, trick shot. Uh, bumper, bumper ball. Bumper divides by three. Ball, of course, divides by three. Um, oh, a pool player. This was a big one because there are professional pool players. There are people that make a living playing pool. That's their passion. That's what they love. They just love this game so much. They're like, God, if you ever took away the game pool, I would just be a little bit less happy, and God can't have that. So, a pool player. Watch this. A pool player. That's the most important part of the game, is the person playing the pool. So look at this phrase. Play equals love. And then the P from pool, and it's together with the E in er there. Okay. And then all the rest of the letters divide by three. Yielding a grand total of pure threes, of course. Going up in threes. 12, 15, 15, 18, 21. Genius. So that's 42 plus 18 and 60, 81. Wow. So that's amazing. Um, <clears throat> the, the letters outside of play equal 81, which is love plus half a love. So pool player literally equals love plus love plus half a love. Genius. Pool player. Love, love, half a love. There you go. The pool player, the great pool player. Um, and that's actually a very special number because love plus love plus half a love is 135, which now add the word the in front. Talk about the pool player. I made a video, just a flashback, like just my entire life is like a symphony of threes. I made a video at university for a video production class called Kubi Cola, where, it, where I was the pool player. It was, I was like the only person in the whole movie, and it was called, it could have been called the pool player. Um, I should get that video on this channel, just for sheer pleasure. Um, but add the word the in front. Now you add 33 to 135, which bumps you up to 168, which is so king, because now it divides by 8 as well. It's 7 times 24. 7 fold 7 triple eights. Perfect. The pool player. The pool player. You've got to get nostalgic. You've got to get romantic. You know, think about, you know, the pool player. It's like the great design, of, in the great design of the story of God, there's someone that spends some time called the pool player. Like, you know, just like the song The Entertainer. Remember? By um, Scott Joplin. The Entertainer. That famous ragtime piano song. Entertainer divides by three. The divides by three. The Entertainer. 
You know, like the the entertainer, the act of God in creating someone that is an entertainer, the entertainer, like, and everything that that term embodies, the entertainer. Wow. Well, here it is again. The pool player. You know, just think of the epitome. Think of the highest level that a human being would be in being a pool player. And then go and be one yourself. Stop watching and start being, doing. Get out there, get to a pool hall tonight and just be like, in the name of Jesus, bam! You know? <laughs> I bless thee in the name of... <laughs> I bless this pool table. Actually, you don't have to do that. It's already blessed. It's sitting right there for you to enjoy. I, I find it just shocking, actually, just, you know, how many mentalities there are that, that, that we need to, like, do things all the time, you know, like, to please God. It's like, actually, he's already done it all. The best thing we can do is just actually love him, <laughs> trust him, enjoy him, and enjoy everything that he's ordained in this world. Just be like, I'm out there with my pool cue, you know. Above all, the thing that cracks me up about pool is the hilarious, like, you know, I mean, you just instantly become cool when you're playing pool. Like, just the postures that it puts you in. Like, as soon as you're leaning over that table, just like craning that like pool cue, you're just like, oh yeah, the universe is in line. You know, the stars. Okay, so, um, pool player, the pool player, done. Um, what other words did we get in this part? Hey, um... The break is very easy. 24, triple eight in the center. Bookended with two plus twos. It's always for the number three, and then that mixed together with all sorts of other things. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like pool breaks. One's like by three. Um, okay. Strike that, you know, it's amazing what you can solve. Like, it's amazing how detailed you can get. And if you don't go, if you don't go to an insane level of detail, then you might as well just not get satisfaction. The more you appreciate of every single moment, every single detail of every single thing that God blesses you to experience in life, the more he will give you your whole life long. For example, now we're solving the phrase, strike the cue ball. It's like the moment, I love how physics just controls everything, after specific moments of impact in all sport. It's like, the amount of time that physics is orchestrating the movement of the ball is like 99.9%. .9%. And then we humans just interact with that thing for brief moments of impact. You know, just stunning. Really, it's, it's totally cool. Um, but strike the cue ball, you know. This knits together like this. Strike is very easy to solve. Plus one in front of this gold train of threes. And then the, you know, just boom. Just, you've got to appreciate the moment of everything that you do in life. How cool it sounds. Um, okay. Whoa. Okay, so we want to solve pool colors. Is there anything else I wanted to say about this? We solve the pockets. Triangle, um, Q, the bridge. Of course, the obvious thing in, in billiards is that there's three pockets on either side, six in total, three plus three, just like the six days of creation. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, uh, the colors of a pool table are traditionally green and brown and black. Amazingly, I got that color combination while I was just lying down. Those three colors knit together to divide by three. Green plus brown plus black. Green plus black knit together. And then brown divides by three all by itself. Um, and then when you play schnookers, all the balls are red. Talking about the kingship of the red. When you play the game of schnooker, all the balls are reddish. Maybe pink tone, but red. Uh, a snooker is very easy to solve. The word. I hope you're inspired to go play some pool. Like, I'm tired of people thinking to themselves, oh, that's just not my thing. I'm like, well, everything is God's thing, so maybe you just need to go and try it and 
see it through new eyes and like enjoy the game of pool. Set yourself free to go and enjoy a game of snooker tonight. And if you've never played snooker, learn how and laugh at yourself. Turn off the TV, stop watching, you know, and go and do something. Do something new that God ordained that he loves and he's into. Okay, so snooker. Um, snooker is a real fun word. S plus one in front, followed by this three fest of three letters that don't divide by three, three that do. That's 36 for those that don't. And 48 for those that do. Both divide by 12, differing by 12, they add to 84 perfectly. Schnooker! <laughs> schnooker! Um, there you go, so we just solved all schnooker. Um, okay, so I want to attempt solving the seven colors. Um, actually, technically there could be eight if we include the eight ball, which is black. Let's see if we can do it. Um, and is there anything else we want to solve in pool? I mean, you can solve like... Okay, I think I'm pretty good. Um, you know, the phrase sink the balls divides by three. You can get into crazy detail, like the goal again. Um, Oh, a scratch. What do they call it when you mess up in pool? It's called a scratch. So you, you can solve pool terms. We can do this on a computer, but it's funner. It's more pleasurable to use your mind to do this. Scratch divides by three. Just like the word foul in baseball divides by three, or foul in any sport. Every letter in the word foul divides by three. Like I said, folks, <laughs> Those provide some of the most amusing moments and some of the greatest laughter and entertainment. Oh, foul. <laughs> Scratch. I mean, that's when I laugh the most is when I screw up. <laughs> it's like everything is ordained. So Scratch, 27 plus 24, 51 plus 21. A Scratch equals 72. And there you go. Triple, triple eights. So there you go. Even your, even your mistakes were foreordained to bring you joy. Scratch. <laughs> Man, that was a terrible shot. And you should laugh when you get a scratch. The game should never be too competitive. I'm like, if you're on a date with someone, you should be having riotous laughter. We were born out of the laughter of the Trinity, that famous theologian said. Like, if you're on a date with someone, like, and you're playing pool together, you should be laughing yourself silly at how silly the whole game is and how silly it is when you, got, when you don't make the shot all the time and you're scratching all over the place and you're like, this is just ridiculous. Like, look at how long it's taking us to like clear these balls. That's love. That's the Spirit of God. That's how happy you are when you're just in love, when you're filled with God. You're just like, everything. Everything is a gift. So, um... <laughs> da -da -da -da! um so can you find love in a scratch? Of course you can. Just pull off the R, and you've got 54 left over, composed of the two 27s. 27 plus 27. Yeah, we solved every single scratch in the universe, including the scratches in Google. And then scratches, that's 24 points to this triple of 24s. <laughs> it just keeps going higher and higher. Um, <laughs> and then scratching and scratches. Okay, so uh, we want to solve the colors of the pool balls. I'm confident we can do this. I'm confident we can do this in real time. So we're going to solve the colors of pool balls in the traditional 15 ball game for the first time in world history right now. Well, we've already solved the six colors of the rainbow, so that makes our job easy because six of the colors of the blue waters are the six colors of the rainbow. So I'm not going to do that again. So we already have the six colors of the rainbow, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and violet. Those knit together to divide by three in a number of letters and strokes and words that divides by three. So in pool, then I believe you add the color burgundy, which I believe I remember to being 88 or something from the, the wine of France. Um, and then black for the, the eight ball. Now this would work if this is indeed 88. Uh, I don't want to, so here we go. 20, okay. I'm going to stick in three land, 39, 60, 78, plus 
9, let's see, 108 plus, oh, it's 112. Um, yeah, this works. And then black equals 29, I have that memorized. So put these two together and that divides by 3. And that means the entire total of the colors of the 15 balls in pool, of which there are 8 colors. You've got, yeah. Let's see if I actually can remember the colors. One is yellow. Oh man, this is gonna be bad. Two is this is cool. You can look this up on Wikipedia. <laughs> Two is blue or orange. A three I know is red. I'm gonna have to review this. I know for a fact. I think five is orange. I think seven is burgundy. I think six was green. I'm gonna have to look it up. But two is blue, I think. Three is red. Four is probably violet, five is orange, six is green, and then seven is burgundy. And then as for the stripes, they probably go in the same order. Yeah, nine is yellow, ten is blue, eleven is red, twelve would therefore be violet, which matches the four, thirteen would match, is orange, and then 14 is green, I believe, and then 15 is burgundy. There you go. The fifth, there, I just got it. So, there are seven, there are eight colors of the pool balls. And so now burgundy plus black, um, burgundy plus black is, what's the grand total, 141? So, what was our total with the six colors of the rainbow? 351. So, 351 plus 141 adds to uh, 492, which divides by 3. That is 3 times... <laughs> oh, my goodness. 3 times 60, 3 times 120, excuse me. No, what am I saying? Oh boy. Quick. Oh, it's one, 3 times 160. 3 times 164. And that's 83 doubled, which is the ninth prime doubled. So 3 times, or no, 83 is the 23rd prime, which is the 29th prime time. So this number eight is, is 83 doubled which is the 23rd prime doubled, which is the 9th prime doubled. So there's the full breakdown, it's all three. So there you go. We successfully solved the colors of the pool balls for the glory of the Trinity. Six colors of the rainbow we've done before, divided by three, and then we, you add burgundy and black to the party. And what's really cool is these six colors of the rainbow are in fact the, um, the first six numbers on the pool balls. Stripes and solids, you know, they go in the same order. So the first six colors, and I'm curious what God has ordained, because yellow is number one, red is number two, I believe this is violet, green here, uh, no, <laughs> excuse me, orange I believe is here, green is number six I think, blue is two, <laughs> does this work in my mind? And if I see the stripes, because I remember the stripes, and then the stripes start at 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and then burgundy start, you know, burgundy is, is ball 15 and ball number 7. Um, Uh, more more details you can get into, but there. So we solve the colors of pool walls. Okay. So you can dig up more gems in the game of pool if you want to. Um, 
And then after that, we ate a buffet. And it, the coolest gem there that I want to preach on is they have a drink machine there called Coca-Cola Freestyle, which God ordains that name. And I'm going to show you it right now. Coca-Cola Freestyle. It's a machine that allows you to get over 100 flavors in a single spout. It's just awesome. Um, and it's just, it's just the coolest thing that Coke has ever done, basically. <laughs> Create a machine with all these unlimited options, basically over 100 drink flavors. You just use the touch screen, put your cup underneath the spout, and hold the push button as long as you want to get as much as you want. I'm like, finally, someone figured it out. The human satisfaction is like, just let me choose what I want and get how much that I want. Like, there's no... I marvel at how simple customer satisfaction is. Let them choose whatever they want, however much of it they want, in the most efficient, economical way you can possibly do, and be generous about it, and they'll be happy, and they'll tell all their friends, and it'll be a wild success. Like, okay. So, Coca-Cola Freestyle, but God invented Coca-Cola Freestyle long before he ordained it in world history. And I love gems like this because they show you the sovereignty of God in knowing the end from the beginning. So God knew about Coca-Cola Freestyle when only Coca-Cola existed. Because you're going to see right now how the word Coca-Cola fits together with the word Freestyle to divide by three perfectly. Done. Okay. First of all, the word style is pure threes. And Coca-Cola, the first three letters of both words, divide by three. So, I mean, we've already taken the glory for all Coca-Cola, because that's very easy. Three, 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 and then A is the most obvious, plus one anywhere occurs, being a trill in the end, Coca-Cola. It's just pure threes. It's like done. You don't even need to do any more. It's like the simplest gem of all time. And everything in moderation, folks. It's like, obviously, if you chug reams of Coca-Cola, that's not going to be healthy for you. But a glass of Coca-Cola, once in a while, is... Pleasure. If that's what you feel like doing, it's like, go for it. <laughs> you know, burn it off. Just have fun, you know. Um, so, free, and by the way, the, I got that word from Jehovah the other day while playing tennis. Burn it off. Do the math on it. Divides by three in nine letters. Burn it off. Three times three. Burn it off. <laughs> you know, just like Michael Phelps. The guy consu consumed, like, insane amounts of, like, all sorts of food that people think would cause a heart attack. And he just burns it off. Like, just burn it off. <laughs> burn it off. Um, it's exercise this generation needs, not diet plans. <laughs> you just need to be active. Burn it off. Do the math on it. You'll be inspired. And just never stop moving. Never stop moving. Just always be doing something. So Coca-Cola Freestyle. Then you can, you can put, because the word style is 81, 3 times 3 times 3 times 3, you can put these two A's together with the two E's right here. That's an obvious combination. Because A plus E makes 6, a double of 3. Okay. Or you can just capitalize on the fact that when you align these two words, you've got this A on the end here with the E on the end here, and then this A on the end here with the E on the end of the word free. So literally, the A on the end of coca knits together with the E on the end of free. And the A on the end of cola knits together with the E on the end of style. Genius to make double three, to the glory of the Trinity. And if you waited this far, you got a really good gem, because this is Coca-Cola's shining star. This is like, you got to zoom out, like Coca-Cola is like the biggest drink brand in the world. And this, is, this new product is their pride and joy. This is their latest and greatest. I agree that it's their latest and greatest. You try it out and you'll be like, Yep, Coca-Cola has a real win here, and they're going to put it everywhere. They're going to put it everywhere, in every restaurant, every buffet. It's going to be everywhere. Coca-Cola Freestyle. Finally, finally, someone did it. <laughs> that many flavors sitting in one tiny machine. Finally, the heavens are open. You know, it's like, <laughs> finally, we figured out how to put that many flavors in one small space, that we can just program with our fingers, stick one cup underneath the outlet, click go, and I have exactly what I desire in the palm of my hand. 
you got to be kidding me. Sometimes I wonder if it took us this long. No, it's by Norris, okay. And um, if you have not tried this machine, go to a place that has one. You can go to the casino in Langley and just go straight into the, you, you don't even have to go to the casino. Don't worry, people. The buffet is separate from the casino. If you don't feel like comfortable walking on, you know, you can go into the buffet at the resort, you know, Cascades Resort, which is outside the entrance to the casino, and you can try out Coca-Cola Freestyle. And Ah, I want to show you more gems. By the way, Dasani divides by three, that's Coke's water brand, and then Fanta which is what I got. I got three different fruit flavors of Fanta. I got peach, which is one of my favorite drink flavors. Peach divides by three. A pan that was the first one I got. Fanta, peach. Because Fanta divides by three and peach divides by three. Then I got Fanta... Um, brain freeze. <laughs> raspberry. And then uh, Fanta grape. So I got three fruit... I always do things with threes. Um, Oh, it just makes so much sense, people. It's just like, oh, come on, give the people satisfaction. Just put in a Coca, Coca just put in a Coca-Cola freestyle machine, and everyone will be happy. They'll be like, finally, I just get to choose what I want, get as much of it as I want, and sing my head off. Like, enough of this stupid like, oh, I gotta pick one thing from the menu, and I don't even have any control over the size of it and how much I get, and I gotta. There's all these weird comparisons. It's all penny-pinching nonsense. I'm like, just let me pay a flat fee. It's like, let, just let me hand you a $10 bill at the entrance of your establishment and say, go ahead, it's all yours. Eat till you're full. Like, that's what you call real business. It's like, I just, people don't understand the concept of generosity. They don't. If you just be generous, God will take care of you. If you open a health food buffet and, and have people walk in and just take a $10 bill from them, a flat $10 bill, no dumb penny pinching, no dumb, you know, like calculations and, you know, people and pennies floating around in the price. It's like, yeah, we charge like, you know, $13.47 for our buffet. And then after after 4 o'clock, the price goes up to uh, $15.21, you know. I'm just like, you idiots, just charge me a flat $10 and be generous and God will spread your business. I'll be telling every neighbor on the street about your buffet. You'll have 10 times as much revenue. Like, it's just not complicated. Stop penny pinching and be generous and go big in generosity and God will prosper your business. I think people are afraid of the growth. I think they're afraid of a big life. They're afraid of masses of people storming the gates and being like, there's gold in the streets. Come on, just someone, mm, be generous. Okay, so, <laughs> health food buffet, I want to walk in, slap down a $10 bill, you know, slap down a $10 bill and just have the entire thing at my fingertips. And I'm going to walk out and I'm going to tell every single person I know to go to your buffet. And you're going to have tons of people at your buffet. And then you have massive efficiency because you have throughput. You have, you have economy of scale. Now you make big batches of everything at your bu buffet. And that's cheap. You don't need a lot of cooks to make a much bigger batch. You just need a, another dumb dead drum that costs you just the same as the other one. And it's called economy of scale. That's why it's efficient to be generous. <sighs> People, health food buffet, low price. Spread the news around town. You won't need advertisements. You won't need to spend a dime on marketing. You'll, everyone will just be telling their neighbors. They'll be, they'll be telling all their friends, and you'll have more business, and you'll be opening up chains all across the all across the continent. I just, I am so sick of dumb business people and people that have a ton of money sitting in banks doing nothing with it. Stupid, 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 stupid. Give something to the world. Oh, start a health food buffet. Do something for humanity before you die. Oh my goodness. Okay, so back to Coca-Cola Freestyle. Look at this ordinance. Finally, a good invention worthy of my presence. Coca-Cola Freestyle. Finally, the children are doing something worthy. It's like, after all these years, we finally invented something that's actually enjoyable. 
Coca-Cola Freestyle, thank God. Now we need like every drink company on the planet to just kind of merge with all of this so I can actually have like 10,000 drink options in one machine. <laughs> or two, whatever, 500. It's just like, you should be able to get everything. Uh, it's been proven, it's been done. You should be able to get everything from a machine like this. You know? It's like, milk? Lactose-free milk? Sure. It's like... Chocolate milk? Okay. Wine? Sure. You know, it's like, just do this. Just make it simple for people. Man, someone needs to replicate this with different flavors of wine. So that when you go to a buffet, you can sample, like, like who wants to order a bottle of wine? I'm like, I'd rather sample five different flavors in small glasses throughout the meal. It's retarded. It's so stupid. It's all... It's just a dumb idea. It's like, or, or here, you know, that'll be uh, $15 for your third of a glass of wine. I'm like, are you a retard? Like, just do it generously and people will spread the news. I think people are scared of prosperity. They're scared of big numbers. They're scared of people. They're scared of business. It's like, oh, I just... It's like, when you get generous, when you be generous, it's like, man, you'll just get so many people knocking on your door. Oh my goodness, business people of the world, just, you got one life to live. Cast it all in the streets, like the Bible says. Oh man, it will always come back to you. Always. <laughs> okay, so Coca-Cola Freestyle, look at that. I just... Finally, Coca-Cola Freestyle, and it's red. Okay, remember, God has been leading us to the color red as king. Red is the king of colors. This is a bright red invention that is one of the coolest inventions in the history of the universe. Man, come on, people. Remember, the, the, the spirit-filled person is led from within. The godless person is tossed to and fro from without. Let me say that again. The spirit-filled person who has the Holy Ghost in Christ Jesus is led from within. You actually are supposed to do what you want to do. That is the freedom of God in Christ. Your desires are healed. Your moment-by-moment -moment decision making is healed. That's what we need for all flesh. Okay? The godless person is tossed to and fro from without. <laughs> they get distracted, they get, you know, Guided by like various, they get easily guided by various signs and distractions and voices from wherever it can come all over this world. When people are filled with the Holy Ghost, self-control is one of the fruits of that. Okay? The fruits of the Holy Ghost, the ninth fruit of the Holy Ghost. You know what you want, and you know how much you want of it. That's what a machine like the Coca-Cola Freestyle offers. And a buffet offers. It says, here's just an efficient presentation of a whole bunch of food. Take what you want and how much you want of it for total guaranteed satisfaction. <sighs> People, please. Okay, so let's finish getting the numbers on Coca-Cola Freestyle. Um, and, uh, and then I got to solve Fanta. Fanta was the first, so Fanta divides by 3, Dasani divides by 3, Fanta. I got three different flavors of Fanta from this machine in three different cups. I just love that feeling. It's like, it was just pure pleasure. Go to a restaurant, and I'm like, that'll be, that'll be $4 for your single, like, glass of Sprite. You know, that'll be, or actually, no, it's even worse than that. That'll be uh, $3.49. You know, don't give me none of that. Just uh, that'd be 349 for your one glass of Sprite, and it took us about, you know, we had to delegate someone, you know, to go get it for you. I'm like, here's another thing: when someone is hungry, there's satisfaction in them getting what they want in order to satisfy their hunger. Like we don't need a lot of servers running around. We really don't. It's like it's called a buffet. When someone is hungry, they're motivated to fulfill. They're hunger. Like, they're, they, they, there's pleasure in them walking up to the food themselves and grabbing it for themselves and shoving it in their mouths. They don't need a waitress. They don't need a server that's, that's getting disgruntled and, like, 
starting to hate their jobs because they just can't stand the fact that they just walk around all day, you know, bringing food from the kitchen to like the person. It's like, why don't we just put the food out there and the people just go and gratify their own hunger? <sighs> Set multiple people free. It's all about, it's like, okay, so, Coca-Cola, so, um, I just would love to see the whole world get free and truly prosperous. It's like, just do it smartly. So Fanta, Fanta is 15 plus 21 is 36 plus, so Fanta is 42 divided by three. Um, and I ordered, so, just right next to the, and these cups were even red as well. Right next to the Coca-Cola Freestyle Machine is like a tower of soda pop cups. Take as much as you want, kids. And so I took one, and then I took another, and then I took a third one because I enjoyed this Coca-Cola Freestyle experience so much that I just had to keep going. And so I ended up getting three. Uh, so Dasani divides by three. Dasani is 21 plus 18 is 39. Dasani is 48. These are, of course, multi-million dollar brands that have now been solved for the glory of the Triumph God. Done. Okay? And just like Coca-Cola has been solved. Um, <clears throat> and uh, flavors divided by three, just like fruits does. Okay, so let's finish the math on Coca-Cola Freestyle. So, um, these letters divide by three. This guy divides by three. I'm going to put the marriage couple made in heaven together, S-T. And then I can put the Y together with the E there, the center letter kind of of each one to make 30 points to finish it off. Let's just jump to the grand total. What does Coca-Cola Freestyle add to it? It has one number in the story of God, which is now going to be solved for the first and only time in world history. Coca-Cola Freestyle. What is the ordained number from heaven for this massively cool invention? It is <laughs> 1821. Plus another 18, 39, 51, plus 12, 63, 87, 117, plus 12, 129, plus 39. Oh my goodness, it's 168. Call the Prime Minister. Call the monarch of the British Empire. Call the President. We've just proven mathematically that Coca-Cola Freestyle is a seven full set of triple eights, 168. That is so screamingly good, it's not even funny. God is sovereign. I do believe God is sovereign adds to 168, a sevenfold set of triple eights. That's like my favorite truth of all time. Coca-Cola freestyle. Let's, let's do it before our very eyes. Uh, yes, God is sovereign does add to the same thing. God is sovereign. That's my favorite truth of all time. Um, I before E except after C. <laughs> um, God is sovereign. Um, is uh, my favorite truth of all time right next to God is love. Okay. God is sovereign equals 168 equals Coca-Cola Freestyle. Yeah! Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so we just, we just solved every Coca-Cola Freestyle machine to the glory of God who is sovereign. I feel like wearing this pen around uh, behind my ears. I go out in public now. Um, Coca-Cola Freestyle, 100... Get out there and buy one of these machines. Get get one in your home. Like, I'm, look at that. Coca-Cola Freestyle. I want to see one of these in every man's fridge by the next five years. Coca-Cola Freestyle. Now shipping in your home. You know, everyone get a Coca-Cola Freestyle. It's the new... Th okay. Um, you know, now, now this is promotion. <laughs> you know, <laughs> having a profit give you the word of God behind Coca-Cola Freestyle. That'll get people buying, at least I hope so. Um, <laughs> Coca-Cola Freestyle equals God is sovereign. Assemble set of triple eights. Bye, bye, bye. Um, and remember, buy equals 48, equals sell, equals trade. 48, 48, 48. Um, so, that's so cool. Coca-Cola Freestyle equals 168. You're gonna wanna go to this buffet daily. See, so that's, I was led by God to go to the buffet at Cascades Resort and Casino. The buffet isn't even inside the casino. You don't have to, okay. Uh, Coca-Cola Freestyle. And actually the first time I experienced this machine, 
for the glory of God was at Trinity Western University for the glory of the Trinity. I experienced this machine for the first time in my life at Trinity Western University, which divides by three in three words, and university is love plus love plus love. They have a gorgeous red Coca-Cola freestyle at the center between the two big walk-through, you know, traffic zones in the food area, exiting into the cafeteria. They have this bright red Coca-Cola freestyle in the center. And it's, everyone uses it. All the students are just like, oh yeah. I feel like a million dollars with this Coca-Cola freestyle machine. Like, I, you just watch the students and they're just like, like instantly they're like, self-esteem is elevated as a result of using the Coca-Cola freestyle. I'm serious. It's like, you just watch a guy walk up there, pull out one of those empty cups, use the touch screen, press the giant silver feel-good push button in the center, fill that thing up to the brim, and he's just like, swagger complete like swagger out like it's just like oh yeah we have just mastered the universe because I have coca-cola freestyle <laughs> I got my drink and my two-step my drink and my two-step it's on um, like that's basically what you see people doing everyone girls and guys alike they walk up to the coca-cola freestyle they like play around with it they get their drink and they just like feel like a million dollars when they walk away. They're like, oh yeah, that was so cool. I am like totally technological. I am like, I am like, cool. I am the new generation. We have Coca-Cola Freestyle, man. Like, we have the goods. And everyone knows it's the goods. And that's why. They're just like, it's just like the perfect end to like grabbing all your food items at the cafeteria. And then you get to use the Coca-Cola Freestyle at the end. And you're just like, Feeling like the king of the universe when you walk up to like the cashier, you're just like, that just felt extremely awesome. Um, <laughs> the Coca-Cola freestyle. It's like, you just want to push that button and get happy. It's like, ding. Um, I actually use it for water most of the time. Uh, <laughs> the first time I used it, I'm like, mm, water. Um, but uh, yeah, so Trinity Western University divides by three. But that is amazing. I, I, like, like like I said, folks, this is king. God is sovereign equals 168. Coca-Cola freestyle equals 168. Oh, yeah. Um, once again, this is a multi-billion dollar invention that should get into every restaurant, every school, every home on the planet because it's just so cool and convenient. Um, and they, need, they should expand their drink options as well. I mean, I'd, I'd love to see, like... Pina colada in there. I'd love to be able to mix pineapple and coconut. I mean, come on, folks. This is the stuff of dreams. I mean, these are the inventions that man dreamed of. It's like any flavor combination that I want in the history of the universe, all sitting in one cool machine that I can just, like, program and, like, press a button and BAM! My desire is sitting right in front of me and I was in control of the whole thing. I mean, how cool is that? How cool is that? We should do this with food. <laughs> it's called the Coca-Cola food style. Um, <laughs> I want spaghetti and meatballs at this price. Boom! <laughs> Can you imagine the food equivalent of the Coca-Cola freestyle? <laughs> Just shove a giant plate right there on the, you know, it's kind of like the... Uh, you know, the Star Trek, you know, like beaming pad, you know, and just shrug, you put your plate there and there's like this blue beam that like shines on your plate and you just like program this interface. So I would like this meal with like this seasoning and these sauces and just like, bam, it just like rains a big plump of spaghetti and meatballs right on your plate. You're just like, yeah, that's Coca-Cola food style. You're just like, now that would be cool. Very difficult, I'm sure, you know, supernaturally like materializing food in front of, okay. Um, but, Seriously, here's another good idea, though. Here is another good idea that needs to be done. It's called the ultimate blender. <laughs> With ease and efficiency, where literally, we have the technology, and we have the computer programming, we have the lazy, you know, the, everything that needs to be there. Where literally, I can take any fruit or vegetable in existence, anything, any fruit or vegetable of any size in existence, and I can literally throw it into a giant basket Okay, this, this one machine, okay, 
I can take anything, throw it into this giant basket, it'll analyze what it is, analyze how to pull the skin off of it, right? Because fruits and vegetables, that's what we spend all the time doing. We've got to like gut them, we've got to like pull the, you know, core out, whatever. De-skin it, whatever needs to be done. And then at the end of me throwing in whatever I want to throw in, like just walking through the entire produce section at any supermarket we know. I can grab whatever I want in a giant bucket, throw it in or dump it into this machine. It one by one peels, skins, strips down, does what it needs, all the stuff that I threw in, and then I can pulp it and blend it into a smoothie of whatever size, whatever volume. Just I can just pulp it into a giant drink with the options of mixing in such an, you know, going for a certain thickness, certain, you know, viscosity, by adding whatever, orange juice, pineapple juice, like fruit juices, or just water itself. So literally I can just throw in everything raw. And in less than a couple minutes I have a quantity of consumable liquid. A smoothie, as it were, that chills to a proper temperature, literally just done, like sitting at the bottom. And I can take that and consume it. And maybe it has a nice sealable container that I can actually take with me for multiple portions. Now that's allowing people to consume health food in a pleasurable, efficient way. Whatever you do that makes it efficient and pleasurable for people is going to get used. Now people are going to eat more vegetables. Now they're going to eat more fruits because it's fun, it's fast, and it's cool. Are you kidding me? And you could do this right in the produce section of grocery stores. Like right in there. Put the machine right there. And people literally just grab a basket, grab a bucket, whatever, you know, grab a handful of carrot, and you just pay by the volume. You, you literally just pay by the volume. Like that simple. A flat rate for the volume. Remember, folks, be generous. Stop penny pinching, and God will just simply provide. Word will spread. You'll get so many customers. Like, stop thinking small. Be generous, and your empire will expand, so to speak. It's God's world. So, um, I just want, I just want to walk through the produce section, grab a kiwi, grab a grab three bananas, grab a pineapple, grab a coconut. Now, there's a tough, tough one to crack, but this machine could do it. Grab a coconut. Grab some kale lettuce, grab some lettuce, grab some kale.